Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tastefully Balanced. I'm Miriam, and if it isn't obvious enough already, I am doing another haul video. I went to Trader Joe's, picked up some new things that I've not picked up before, but also some of my favorites that I wanted to share with you guys. So if you guys like haul videos, please subscribe and keep watching. All right, welcome back. So of course, whenever I do my weekly grocery shopping or bi-weekly, depending on if my flowers are in good shape or not, mine are doing pretty bad back there, but I needed some fresh flowers. So I just grabbed a bunch of chrysanthemums, this dark, rich purple color that I'm really excited to put in my vase back there. So yeah, of course. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and pick this bag randomly, show you guys all of this, and then I will do the other bag. First, first thing I have is this huge, huge bag of Hatch Chilies. Hatch chilies are just really, really good. They're a little bit different than your regular bell peppers. They only grow in New Mexico, parts of Texas, uh, Mexico. And yeah, so you can't find them everywhere. Best is to kind of fire roast them, but I've also just used them like bell peppers too. But this big bag was only $3.99, and when you can't find some things like this all the time, I definitely like to grab it. So got myself a bag of this some cilantro that I just needed. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that little hack that I showed you guys, if you guys remember, but put this all in a mason jar into the fridge. It'll last longer. Next up, I've got this Cruciferous Crunch Collection. I think I've gotten this before and shared it with you guys. I like to kind of just add this into my salads so that I'm not just having romaine lettuce all the time. So I like to add this, some shredded carrots, kind of just beef up my salad so that it's more filling and exciting for me. I love salads personally, so I don't have a problem having it every day, but I know that it can get a little boring if you have the same kind of thing every single time. Next up, I have some sliced white mushrooms. So really, these are just sliced. I usually just get them whole, but they were about the same price, so I figured why not save myself some time and get them sliced for me. So this is just for curry, stir fries. All right, got myself a bell pepper, not very exciting. Got some roasted unsalted peanuts. All right, next up I have some unsalted dry toasted pecans. Again, like I mentioned, I like to get things that are toasted because I think it really brings out the flavor of the nuts and then unsalted. So I like to throw this into brownies, into cookies. I love pecans, it's one of my favorite nuts, along with walnuts, but for me, walnuts, I really need a purpose to use them. They always come in a big bag at Trader Joe's, and I can't always use them all before it goes stale. So I like this smaller bag of the pecan pieces, so I'm gonna be making some chocolate chip cookies later, and so I thought this would be perfect to throw in there. All right, got myself some Persian cucumbers. This is just tiny cucumbers that I like to slice up and have with hummus. All right, next up I have these peanuts on the go date bars. So I have shown dupes for Lara bars. This seems like a dupe for a Lara bar. Essentially, I think it's much cheaper though. This was five for like two. Ooh, $3.99 I think, whereas Lara bars are like a dollar, dollar fifty. This has just five ingredients, dates, peanut butter, peanuts, flaxseed meal, and sea salt. So super simple ingredients, really easy to just throw into your lunch, into your purse, and just have whenever you're a tad bit hungry and need something to just carry you over for the next meal. All right, next up, you guys know that I love to try <laughs> these meatless meat mock-ups or, you know, kind of fake meat that they have out there. This is a Smart Tenders Meatless Savory Chicken. I was curious because I love, I love kind of trying these things out just because sometimes I come home and there isn't really anything I have ready to go. So when I have things like this that don't require defrosting or anything like that, it's just so much quicker for me to throw something together for dinner and not have to rely on going out or you know ordering something in, something like that. So that's why I kind of like to have these options available. All right, the last thing I have in this bag is just a bag of apples. That concludes our first bag, so I'm just gonna put this on the side here 
and work on this bag. First thing I have is this Thai tea mini mochi, a thin sheet of traditional mochi wrapped around a bite-sized nugget of luscious coconut-based Thai tea filling. I love mochi, I love Thai tea, so I figured I would really like this. So I just wanted to try it out. I kind of try to stay away from that dessert aisle, so this caught my attention. I hadn't seen it before, so I figured why not give it a try. They're mini size, so I don't like to have a ton of sweet stuff as dessert. Usually I actually just have fruit or something like that for dessert. So this is perfect. You can have a couple of this and you will be good. I have my favorite, favorite vegetable burger, the vegetable masala burger. I've talked about this so much. It's one of my favorite, favorite veggie burgers in general. If you still haven't tried it after all my raving, please, please do yourself a favor. Next time you go to Trader Joe's, try it out. All right, so this is another new thing that I saw today, cold brew latte dessert bars. They're only 40 calories per bar. There's about how many of them? Five of them in this box. We love coffee flavored ice cream. That's one of my favorite, favorite flavors of ice cream actually. So this just seemed like we would be naturally inclined to like it. So I'll let you guys know. All right, you guys know I love my sparkling water. So this is a green apple flavor that I've never seen before. I think it's new, so I wanted to try it out. All right, so <laughs> I got three of these, I think. Yep, I got three of these, the same flavor, and then I got a different flavor. So these are just cup of noodle essentially, fancy, fancy cup of noodle. <laughs> so this is miso flavored ramen soup is what they call it. It is vegan, so there's no meat products in this. It's really honestly, I wanted to try it out because I haven't had a cup of noodles in years. I can't even remember the last time I've had a cup of noodles, but I've heard that this was really, really good, so I wanted to try it out for myself. Again, if you're familiar with cup of noodles, they're very, very high in sodium. This is not very different. It's only 180 calories per cup, but the sodium level is very high. So this is definitely not something you wanna have on the daily, but these are just, you know, sometimes I didn't have time before to prep lunch, so it's easy to just grab this and take it to work. So I've got three of the miso flavored one, and then I just grabbed one of the chicken flavored one. So this is the chicken flavored ramen soup, maple sausage breakfast links. There's actually very few ingredients, and I, you guys already know, I love looking for things that have very minimal ingredients, very simple ingredients. This one, all it has is no added antibiotic chicken, maple syrup, brown sugar, seasoning, salt, spices, and paprika, vinegar, and caramelized sugar. So sugar is a little bit high. There's three grams in a serving, so two links is a serving, but this is great. We usually have very, very simple breakfast. Basically what I showed you guys in my last video or maybe two videos ago where they're just kind of quick breakfast that you can put together. I do want to have more of an elaborate breakfast and you know sit down and actually enjoy the breakfast meal because it is one of my favorites. Spicy jalapeno chicken sausage. So you just want to make sure again I think I've told you guys this before that it doesn't have any pork. So this one is pork free. I throw this usually in the freezer too so that sometimes I just can't eat all the meat all together or Sorry, that's that's my cat. Usually I'll throw this in the freezer, but they thaw out really, really quickly. So those nights that you just can't figure things out and you just need something quick, perfect for this. Just mangoes. We love mangoes. This is just dried mangoes. Didn't Haven't had it in a while because I'm just, I haven't really stocked up my pantry. I've been trying to have more fresh things, so I haven't stocked up my pantry in a while, so I had to grab that. Chunky olive hummus. So I will tell you, I overheard a lady talking about this at the store and she loved it. So, and, she, and I'm a huge, huge fan of olives. <laughs> so I figured I would love this as well. I wanted to pick it up because we love hummus and my hummus is currently all done. I have this Balela, Balila, I don't know how to say it. So my purpose of getting this this time is because I wanna do a video where I do a this versus that. And basically I want to completely mimic this. And I think I've shared that with you guys before that I wanted to kind of copycat this, but I wanted to see, this is about, I forget, I took a picture of it. I think it's, it's either 
349 or 269 I don't know anyways I wanted to see the price of this versus if I were to make it myself with like a whole can, you know, can of garbanzo bean, a whole can of black beans and kind of make it myself and see the price per serving. This is a serving size is half a cup. So I want to see the price per serving and see how much am I really wasting buying this. <laughs> Seems like it would be really, really easy to make. So I'm curious, I'll let you guys know. All right, and the last thing I have is this chocolate chunk cattuccini mini biscotti, Italian biscotti cookies. So this is actually for my mother-in-law whose birthday is today. So shout out to Ami if you're watching. I figured she loves biscotti, so she would probably like this. This is actually a new product at Trader Joe's. It had that new little sign next to it. So I was curious to see how it was. So I'll let you guys know what she thinks of it. But yeah, and it also has such a pretty packaging that I couldn't pass up. All right, there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed that haul. I got a good mix of healthy things and, you know, maybe not so healthy, but it was a good kind of pantry restock, fridge restock. And so yeah, if you guys want me to go somewhere else or if you guys want me to buy particular items so you can see it, let me know in the comments below. If you guys like haul videos, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, live life tastefully balanced.